Okay, so uh, this is Mike with Signature Yachts, and here is a first look at the Corbin 39. Uh, this is a bow-on uh, look. So, one of the, we'll show it a little bit more closely, but huge anchor locker space, uh, not only for the primary uh, anchor uh, chain and road, but uh, also uh, any sort of secondary gear that you would need. Um, one of the things you'll notice about the Corbin is it really is sort of purpose built. Um, has a great look that, uh, and a lot of function that can take someone offshore. Um, one of the things that strikes me is a nice high tow rail, which is great for uh, offshore cruising. So, um, before we go on deck, uh, canvas in good shape, um, including not only the Dodger but also the. Uh, mainsail cover uh, that can be an added expense for about this age that hasn't been taken care of that way all right so let's go on board um, cockpit um, consistent with a boat for this age so it is uh, uh, comfortable but not overly spacious so if you are planning to do any offshore work um, you don't run the risk of uh, having too much um, volume in the cockpit to fill up with water and have those struggles and now just uh, stepping down Kind of the view from the cockpit here down the companion way of course one of the unique features uh, for this size of boat you don't see many pilot house versions of a 40-foot boat out there and this is one of those so um, see if i can just scroll up here coming down the companion way and the first area here is the com uh a sort of pilot house area, inside pilot house area. So helm uh, in center here, um, looking up, you can see the um, outside windows. Looking to the left, there is um, right next to the helm is a nice ample sized chart table uh, for doing any sort of uh, navigation work. Also, um, uh, a nice pilot berth. Let's see if I can go down there. There we go. Nice pilot berth. Very, very roomy. Um, for sleeping. If... All right. And then to the right is a small pilot berth as well. And so then just a couple steps down and we'll go into the sort of main living area. So on the port side, nice ample galley, uh, twin sinks. And if you're looking for 
a nice cruising boat that just not only can give you the ability to go out and adventure, but also kind of has the look and feel of a nice nautical cruising boat. This is a good solution down, uh, down below especially. Um, the ability to sit here in the main salon, curl up and read a book. So uh, this boat does have a forced air heating system that may need servicing or needs servicing. Um, so I'm not sure the status of that, but it also has um, a deck uh, diesel um, bulkhead heater. And that's a Dickinson uh, version that is puts out a ton of BTUs and keep uh, you nice and cozy on those cold nights. All right, um, to starboard here. This is where the oops, there we go. Uh, really large uh, ice box fridge, rather. Um, so. There's that. All right. All right, so let's move forward now. And I just passed the Ford bulkhead is the head. Closing the full head door gives you a sense of Tons of storage here as well. And then moving forward here is a forward bunk area. And uh, looks like we've got a drifter uh, in the V berth now. And uh, with my phone I won't be able to push that out of the way but um, hopefully you can see it goes back another maybe four or five feet so fairly big sort of forward berth with uh, plenty of storage again all right so that is essentially the boat uh, we'll go out on deck here before I conclude the video and take a little better look at the deck. Again, just a couple steps up into the pilot house and then a short ladder up back into the cockpit. Um, so the boat Uh, in terms of the look of the boat, obviously a nice stout cruising boat, good for a liveaboard or an offshore sailor or someone who just wants a great cruiser boat with the ability to have inside steering uh, for the Pacific Northwest and other cooler climates. I'll walk out just to the deck here. Uh, one thing about not having a huge trunk cabin is you've got plenty of sort of ease of access to the foredeck. Uh, pretty easy to walk around up here. It's not always the case on a 40-foot boat. Uh, you can see a bunch of hatches so plenty of ventilation. Um, 
again, tons of space. There's the secondary road, um, rope road. And then here's a situation where really a lot of space. All right, uh, some of the features you can see on the spec sheet on our website, but uh, this boat does have a, a wind vane uh, for steering offshore. Uh, so you can have an extra crew member and not use a lot of battery power associated with an autopilot. And I think, um, that'll do it. Um, all right, hopefully that gives you a good sense uh, of the Corbin 39. And if you have questions, uh, give me a call. Again, this is Mike at Signature Yachts.